Summertime is just the worst time to create content on YouTube. Wait, that's, that's, that's not what I scripted. I've been messing around with a gaming headset recently because I've been playing Final Fantasy 16, so I have a reason to touch my PlayStation 5 again after quite a while. But I've been playing with the 3D Pulse headset mostly, as I think that it is a pretty good budget option for just about 100 bucks. So why would I want to pay 300 instead for the Inzone H9 headset? How much better is it? Well, today we're going to take a look at whether or not it will be worth it. There's a lot to say, so let's dive right in. The exterior design consists of plastic, and yes, this will be a lighter headset, but it does feel pretty good thanks to all of the padding that they've included. However, it is admittedly kind of flimsy, and it does still feel a little bit cheap. I'm comparing this to the 3D Pulse, and even a $400 set of headphones like the XM4s, which does feel more premium and less flimsy. The build is somewhat questionable in some aspects, but there are other things here that were done quite nicely. The mic is built well, for example. The cups are also pretty decently built, and the buttons feel good to press too. With the build aside, you do get some blue lights on the top to show off a little, and you also get some vents around the sides for ANC and ambient sound. For the buttons that I mentioned earlier, you do get game mode and chat mode for the headset audio, a Bluetooth button, and a power button. On the other side, you will get a volume wheel, an ANC slash ambient sound toggle button, and a USB-C port for charging. Overall, the design is cool, but the build is not really my favorite. So when it comes to comfort, Sony definitely nailed it here for me. This headset has a lot of padding around the ear cuffs and also the headband, which is very welcome here. I could wear these all day long if they lasted that long, as they just did a good job here. It's very soft and silky, especially for the cuffs, so no concerns here, at least for me. But I can see most people being comfortable with this setup overall, I would say. When it comes to features on this headset, we have less than what I would have hoped for, but still pretty good. You do get ANC, ambient sounds, a full-fledged microphone, extra padding, Bluetooth capabilities, and it also connects through a USB dongle, along with some other features that even include the same size drivers as the 3D Pulse headset. This is a larger headset in general, after all, so you would probably expect larger drivers, but no, you do get the same 40mm drivers. So this was kind of a disappointment to say the least, but these still seem to get louder than the 3D Pulse headset for my experience at least just a little bit louder like they just feel more immersive i think so what about the sound quality well it's pretty good i would say but this should be expected considering that the market is overly saturated with a bunch of gaming headsets at a budget that already sounds pretty good but this headset sounds quite good with a lot of depth and crisp details to the audio. I can hear everything quite nicely with great audio separation and great immersion. This is pretty good in practice, and there are other features that really contribute to a rather unique gaming experience. Granted, the sound is very good, but it's not exceptional per se, as the 3D Pulse headset actually already sounds pretty close to this one, and I will talk more about that pretty soon. But yes, this headset sounds great, I would say. But what really makes this headset so special, in my opinion, is the fact that it features active noise cancelling. This is a total game changer, because it's not only there, but it's actually really good. Like, just as good as the active noise cancelling that you will find on their own WH-1000XM series of headphones. You won't hear a peep from the outside world while things are playing through your headset. You won't hear your very loud AC this summer or other people talking at all while having a very comfortable instance. Active noise cancelling, on the other hand, is also just as good and it works really well. I just don't really have much use for it myself and I actually meant to say ambient noise. Ambient noise is what I don't really have much use for, but overall I would say that it is still pretty good. Now let's move on to the microphone quality real quick. Okay, so now this is going to be a microphone test for the Inzone H9 headset, and I have to say that this is probably one of the better instances when it comes to gaming headset microphones. It doesn't sound great. In fact, it sounds pretty bad from a pure audio standpoint and uh, from, you know, like just, just the fact that you could use a separate dedicated microphone for it that would sound way better, but it is at the top of the list when it comes to gaming headsets because when it comes to let's say noise isolation it does a really good job at that and it picks up my voice the entire time i still sound clear enough even if my voice doesn't like it sounds very processed still but it is better than a lot of other instances so i actually prefer the microphone on this headset than i do on a lot of other headsets out on the market 
Now to compare this headset to the 3D Pulse headset, I have never tested the H7 or the H3 headset whatsoever, so I can only speak on how similar it is to the 3D Pulse headset because it is the only other one that I have owned. They honestly sound pretty much alike, so I wouldn't get this if active noise cancelling just isn't that important to you. Because the 3D Pulse headset, at a fraction of the price, is just a great deal in my opinion. But if you do care about active noise cancelling, then this will be a fantastic option over the 3D Pulse headset. Trust me, you do also get more padding with greater comfort. You get more options for customization, more connectivity options too. You get ANC, a better microphone, ambient sound, better controls, and some more. There definitely are features that make this the better buy, and that ANC that I mentioned earlier is no joke at all. It really helps with immersion greatly, and, it, and I didn't even know that I needed it until I actually had it. Now, I don't want to be without it. As for the battery life, we do have a great amount of time to play with, which is actually pretty awesome. We get around 32 hours with ANC turned on. Off, which is pretty good if I do say so myself. Now while you do get less with ANC, it wasn't anything that really bothered me. It was a little bit hard to quantify considering that I usually play for like around one hour per day, except when I'm actually testing for a review. But even then when it came to ANC, it's still a little hard to just quantify how long it actually lasts. In conclusion, I think that this is worth the money, mostly because of ANC. Otherwise, I would tell you to not look at it. ANC is what makes this headset so great, and I would consider that to be the main selling point over the 3D Pulse. But this is to say that this is a great headset, and if you need ANC, then absolutely get this. If you think ANC is a good idea, absolutely get this. But if you already have a 3D Pulse headset, then maybe I wouldn't worry too much because having to pay $300 additionally just isn't as feasible just for ANC. But if you're on the fence between the two, then the H9 is the headset to get. Strongly recommend it. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. I do very much appreciate it. I am going to be leaving affiliate links down to Sony's website actually down below. Uh, so if you do use my link to make a purchase, you would be helping out the channel quite a bit. So I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also, please make sure to follow me on TikTok where I have been posting their um, shorts of pretty much every product that I review on the same day of release or maybe just shortly after. But still, you would be supporting the channel that way too. I also have an Instagram where you can follow me and that kind of thing. And if you want to follow me on other socials, you'll find them all down below. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and until next time, have a good one. Enjoy.